In this video, I will be discussing lists, for loops, and the modulo operator. And lists are very important uh, objects that are used in Python because they allow us to store uh, integer values and uh, strings and lists. And so we can um, keep many things inside of these lists and they are very important um, to draw analogies to other languages. Uh, in MATLAB, for instance, um, a list can be considered a little bit like a one-dimensional array, which is referred to as a vector in MATLAB. Um, so we usually work with time vectors, for instance, when we have 10,000 uh, data points with time. Um, or if we're working in Java or C, uh, we'll typically discuss things such as arrays, and uh, we can have two-dimensional and three-dimensional arrays. But um, in Python, we work with lists. And so what I'm going to do is write out a, a program that will incorporate all these concepts together. And to give a little bit of a background on the modulo operator, um, the modulo operator essentially returns the remainder of when we divide something. And so uh, the first thing we'll do is we're going to uh, ask the user for a number. And we will say, tell me a number. I'll tell you the divisors. And divisors are all of the numbers that um, can be multiplied together um, to, to uh, get that number. And uh, it'll be a bit more clear once I uh, get to it. So if we think of the number 14, we know that 1 times 14 is 14, and 7 times 2 is 14. And so the divisors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. And so uh, also to uh, give a credit here, the uh, this example problem does come from practicepython.org, and it is an excellent reference, and I highly recommend it to people interested in um, learning Python. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here is declare our very first list, and I'm going to call it A, and you define a list by just having uh, equal, uh, square brackets like so, and there's nothing in this list yet, but we need to uh, declare it in order to start putting elements into it. And so now that we have been uh, given a number, the next thing we're going to do is define another list, but this list will be defined using uh, an internal Python function referred to as range. And the way range works is it will create a list um, with a start integer as well as a final integer, and we can also define steps. And so uh, in MATLAB, um, this is a little bit cleaner because you would just have square brackets and you would use colons, but um, here it's essentially the same uh, topic. And so we have been given a number n, and so we want to declare another list that goes from 1 to n plus 1. And so uh, we can evaluate what the divisors are. And the next step that we're going to do here is now define a for loop. And for loops in Python uh, look like this. So we would have for i in x, we are going to check if n mod i equals equals zero. So that's a condition, so we need the double equal sign. And if that is the case, we are going to append to our list a the element i. And so to break down what's happening here, I will, um, so let's pretend n is equal to uh, 14. If i is equal to 5, what we would have is 5 goes into 14 two times with a remainder of 4. 4 does not equal 0, therefore uh, 4 will not be appended into your uh, list a. Um, but if i is equal to 7, for instance, four, 7 will go into 14 exactly two times with no remainder, and therefore it will be appended into our list uh, a. And so um, what we can also do to make things a little bit nicer is also say else um, we can say print and we declare uh, the element that we have been analyzing and then call our concatenate operator uh, now that we've converted our integer value into a string is not a divisor 
of, and now we can also concatenate back in the string of the number that we have been given. And uh, finally, what we can say is print the following are divisors of string n, which is the number that the user has supplied. And uh, what we're going to do is call a for loop and uh, we can declare a different uh, element in our for loop. You can make this whatever you want and for loops uh, are a big deal in Python. This is a very general introduction to them and I'll, I'll go into more depth about them uh, later on. But for the sake of uh, learning Python, uh, we'll just stick to this example for J in um, A, our answer list that contains all of the divisors, we are going to print J. And uh, now if we run this code, let's go with 14. I am getting an error message. And uh, the reason for that is because I have failed to uh, have integer wrapped around the input function of MATLAB. And this is because um, when we run uh, what the input function, the built-in function in Python returns a string and uh, we cannot use strings with uh, these numbers in Python and so uh, with the range function in Python. And so if we now try this again, uh, what we see is that we were indeed iterating through our list as we expected and uh, we received the appropriate results. All the numbers that did not go perfectly into 14 uh, were recognized and the divisors of 14 uh, were stored into our answer list A and the result was printed out. And so this concludes uh, a general introduction to lists, for loops, as well as the module operator. Um, I hope you guys find this useful. And again, practice python.org is a very good reference uh, for learning a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just want to give them a plug because I think they do a great job. So uh, thanks for watching and take care.